So I've got one more clip that I want to share with you from the Bernie's Back rally that took place over the weekend in Queens, New York. This is a clip from part of Nina Turner's speech. Nina Turner, let me just say that, uh, you know, Bernie Sanders is incredibly lucky to have her as a surrogate because as far as surrogates go, she is the best of the best. Like, nobody gets me as fired up as Nina Turner. But what I want to share with you is a point that she made about Bernie Sanders versus Elizabeth Warren. What she says here is, I think, incredibly brilliant, and it's not necessarily like a new thought that I've had, but she just articulates it in a way that really resonates with me. It makes so much sense. So regarding 2016 and who decided to challenge the establishment, this is what she had to say. That there's nobody quite like Senator Bernard Sanders. I mean that. We got some folks in mainstream and the neoliberal side who really can't understand the difference. But I'm gonna break this down for you. There are many copies. There are people who didn't have the same guts and the same courage as Senator Bernie Sanders to run in 2016. There are some people who sat on the sideline when it was hard. There was only one person who stood up to the establishment, and his name is Bernard Sanders. So if Elizabeth Warren saw that and saw that comment, you know, you'd have to think that she knows that that's essentially at her. This is what, you know, uh, Nina Turner was alluding to. She was indirectly criticizing Elizabeth Warren, and I can't help but think that this was Elizabeth Warren's face in the event she did see that. But that comment was so good, I have to read it again. There are many copies. There are people who didn't have the same guts and the same courage as Senator Bernie Sanders to run in 2016. There are some people who sat on the sidelines when it was hard. There was only one person who stood up to the establishment, and his name is Bernard Sanders. That is such an important point and it really goes to show you who was willing to speak truth to power who was willing to stand up and take a stand at a time when everyone else was falling in line like let's fast forward to circa 2014 2015 i was still in grad school and i remember you know debating with my colleagues about this just casually you know about the upcoming 2016 election and I made it very clear that I was part of the draft Warren movement. You know, I supported that. I absolutely wanted Elizabeth Warren to run because I did not want to settle and vote for Hillary Clinton. Like, I, I felt like she was inevitable at that point, but I felt like we needed at least one voice to, even if, you know, she she's not successful, like Elizabeth Warren, to just jump in the race and push Hillary Clinton to the left at a minimum. And I remember seeing a video, I think it was an interview with HuffPost, where Mark Ruffalo, um, otherwise known as the Hulk, he passionately begged Elizabeth Warren to run for president. And Elizabeth Warren, you know, in spite of all the calls for her to run for president, in spite of celebrities like Mark Ruffalo asking her to run, she decided not to run. So Elizabeth Warren, she just decided to sit out the 2016 election and make an endorsement once the primary was essentially over. And she thought maybe that was the best way to um, have a little bit of say over a possible Hillary administration. But the fact is that Warren didn't run because that was something that was frowned upon. If you're in the Democratic Party, everyone was just in agreement that it was Hillary's turn. Bernie Sanders gave us an option. Elizabeth Warren, we would have been fine with her, but um, she didn't want to run. So Bernie stepped up, reluctantly, I think. I don't believe he wanted to do that. I don't think he was ever career-minded. He wanted to run because he wanted to give people an option. And guess what? He catalyzed what may be the start of an actual political revolution. Bernie did that. So now that it's convenient, now that Hillary Clinton is out of the way and the field is wide open, now everyone wants to run for president, right? People who wouldn't run before. But guess what? Bernie Sanders didn't decide to run for president because, you know, it was uh, convenient in 2020. He decided to run because he knows that in order to win, in order to speak truth to power, in order to stand up to the establishment, we need someone with the guts 
And there's one person who I truly believe is willing to speak truth to power in 2020. That's Bernie Sanders. No one has been as effective as Bernie in standing up to the establishment, in running against the Clinton machine on the left. And he did that. And I, I think people really need to understand that that was really important. Running in 2016 against Hillary Clinton was not something that was easy for him to do because you saw what happened. There were the smears against him. There were the attacks against his base of support. Like they drug him through the mud all at the behest of Hillary Clinton because he challenged her political hegemony within the Democratic Party. So, you know, you really have to remember, if you truly want a fighter, then opt for someone who's always willing to fight regardless of the political ramifications, regardless if it's not politically expedient to fight. So Nina Turner here in saying that, when I heard her say that, I just thought, thank you. Finally, somebody is saying it. Finally, somebody is actually stating what was the obvious, right? I mean, the fact that Elizabeth Warren is running now and she chose to step aside for Hillary Clinton, I think that says something about her character. Like, I'm committed to really supporting a candidate based on policy, but if we want to get those policies implemented, we need to determine who's the best fighter, who's going to be willing to fight, who has the capacity to fight and push through and persevere even if the establishment may come down upon you. It's not Elizabeth Warren. It's Bernie Sanders. And by, you know, talking about this, being brave enough to um, say this, say the obvious, Nina Turner is such a great surrogate because this, this is what people need to be talking about. This should be on our minds as we evaluate who to vote for in the primary. But since we're on the subject of Bernie's Welcome Back rally, I'm not sure I think it was called the Bernie's Back Rally. I'm not sure. But either way, I want to leave you with one last clip. So this was Bernie Sanders' first rally post-heart attack. This is why it's called the Bernie's Back Rally. Um, what he says here had me super fired up. So I'm going to leave you with this. Um, enjoy. Let me also, on a personal note, take this opportunity to thank the many people across this nation who in my time of illness sent me and my family their prayers and well wishes and their love. It has meant the world to Jane and me, and I thank all of you so very much. And along with the great medical care that I received, I am happy to report to you that I am more than ready. More ready than ever. to carry on with you the epic struggle that we face today. I am more than ready to assume the office of President of the United States. I am more than ready to take on the greed and corruption of the corporate elite and their apologists. I am more ready than Elba to help create a government based on the principles of justice, economic justice, racial justice, social justice, and environmental justice. To put it bluntly, I am back.